Newton conceived of the universe as an infinite grid in three dimensions, perpetually undergoing a steady one-dimensional progression in time. In this grid work are objects, which each occupy a certain amount of space, and which change their position in space over a given length of time. The ratio between length of space and length of time is called velocity, or speed. To change one's velocity, i.e. to speed up or slow down, one must change this ratio between space and time, i.e. one must increase the length of space one travels within a given length of time. This is called acceleration or deceleration. Now, although everything is theoretically mappable onto a single grand universal grid, for practical purposes we have to specify things more. For example, we know that the Earth is swinging through space at 30 kilometers a second, and the galaxy is spinning at 210 kilometers a second. But when we are dealing with things on the Earth, it is redundant to include those numbers in our calculations. Everything on Earth is moving at least 240 kilometers a second in the same direction, meaning that for all intents and purposes, nothing on Earth is moving that fast. Thus, the calculation of something's speed must be made relative to the speed of something else. Velocity is only calculable from a point of view. This is Newtonian relativity. If I'm walking north at 5 miles an hour, and a car is driving north at 50 miles an hour, then from my point of view, the car is moving at 50 minus 5 equals 45 miles per hour northwards, while from the car's point of view, I am moving 45 miles per hour southwards towards it. But hold on, if velocity is relative, then how did I know that I am moving at 5 miles an hour while the car is moving at 50 miles an hour? What are those speeds in reference to? They are in reference to the Earth, which is taken to be moving at 0 miles per hour. This is how Newtonian relativity and mechanics works. You assume a reference point, or a point of view, and you treat that point of view as stationary, i.e. as the origin, the coordinate 0, 0, on a Cartesian plane. This would not be possible, however, without there being an ultimate reference point, or a God's eye view. That reference point is Newton's universal grid, which is taken to be genuinely stationary. The speeds of everything in the universe could be assigned their true value by referring back to this grid. But of course, this doesn't really come up because so much of our calculations concern things on the Earth, where we can take it for granted that everything is already moving at a constant velocity of 240 kilometers a second.